Okay, what we have here, we have a swarm of bees that issue from one of my hives. Hive on the left right there. And they sell on top of a cedar tree, which I cut loose, and all that part of the swarm was dislodged, but as you can see, bees flying in the air right here are being attracted by the queen's scent and the scent glands of the other workers. And they're reuniting back to stay as a swarm right here. Once they all get reunited, I'm going to be putting these guys in a brand new hive. So this means we'll be back up to four hives. This is so cool. Collecting the swarm bees can be a very enjoyable springtime activity for any beekeeper, whether it's a professional or a hobby beekeeper like me. Just listen to these things. It's just all you hear is a constant whining, whirring sound. It's like I'm staying in the middle of a bee storm. A lot better than a tornado, I think. <laughs> this is absolutely amazing. Somewhere in this swarm cluster is the queen somewhere. I don't know where she's at in here, but she could be inside for all I know. And you can see all those here have fallen their way down. <coughs> <coughs> If you fall one dislodged the branch, the top of the tree, I mean, a lot of the bees, half the bees got dislodged and they're airborne, but now they're coming back to the swarm cluster to reunite. So I think what I'm going to do is I probably may start putting them in the bucket right about now, so that way I can keep them there. Things start to tilt, I'm going to have to shut her off. <laughs> 